It's true that uh, data doesn't seem to be correct. Not even, not just the data of uh, the, dis the people with disabilities, but even children with disabilities. Mr. So Speaker, there has to be a way in which we can know our children from when they are young. And uh, as the committee looks at that, let them also look at our schools. Because some schools register children one term, the next term they, don't, they have new children, they don't have other children. I think this question is very important because it's going to open our minds on which solutions we should really be dealing with, or how we are going to approach this. Because we also know, um, Mr. Speaker, that uh, the issue of um, disability has been associated with witchcraft and has been associated with so many other things. The side that uh, people are embarrassed, some children are being locked in rooms, some children are being closed. So looking for data is going to be a very challenging thing, but we want to look for ways in which we can get to know who actually our disability, our disabled children are, uh, people are. The other, finally, Mr. Speaker, we need to actually ask ourselves, is this the responsibility of a mother who gave birth to a disabled child, or it should be the responsibility of a nation that receives tax. We, we need to see how we can move that burden away from the parents, because, um, Mr. Speaker, you realize that if you have four children and one of them is a disabled, you'll spend 50% of your time with a disabled child, and 50% for the other three children, which means there are many challenges there.